Um, not much to say. It's a game that um, we should have won. And um, I, I told the guys, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sick for them because uh, uh, we did some really good things, um, but um, didn't make some winning plays at the end and give uh, Baylor and Charlie Brewer, who I think is an unbelievable player and unbelievable competitor credit. Uh, they did make the, the plays at the end of the game to win. Uh, but um, we'll, we'll, we will win these type of games. Uh, and we need to win these type of games. You get these one score, four quarter games, we got to find a way to do it. And we're going to continue to learn, continue to grow from this. Uh, but I'm sick for the guys because we did enough things that uh, we should have had a chance or should have won the game and, and we didn't and give Baylor credit. Start first with Kels. I guess just after a loss like that, how do you handle it with the guys in the locker room when it's that close? Well, I, I was sorry for him. I told him, I said, I'm sorry. You, you guys played your tails off. And uh, coming off the performance last week, uh, I thought we had a good week of practice. I knew we would play hard. I knew we would uh, have a better performance. We didn't get off to a great start. We're down six to nothing before you can blink an eye and you think, oh boy, here we go again. But then Malik comes up with a huge play which I was excited for Malik and it flipped the momentum. Uh, and, uh, but in, in the end, uh, we have to find a way to get a first down with four minutes left on offense. Um, and we have to find a way to get a stop and we lose contain on a really good quarterback and he's going to make you pay because then you drop coverage. Uh, and you just can't do that with that talented of a player and that savvy of a kid. And, and that's, really the tale of the fourth quarter, Charlie Brewer made plays. Thinking back to the last offensive possession you had when you went three and out, is there anything you wish you'd have done differently there? Yeah, the first play. Um, we were hoping Will would have kept it because that's what he kept on when we ran for a touchdown, you know, in the, in the series before. And I don't, I, I don't, didn't see the play and I just heard him in the box saying, oh shoot, I wish he would have kept it. Didn't keep it. And uh, so we're second and eight. So that would be the only thing. Did it, it looked like the weather, the rain lightened up in the fourth quarter. Did that help their passing game? Um, potentially, it, it didn't. You know, it rained pretty good that first half. Uh, but I, I just think they got into their empty set, and because of the quarterback draw and because of the screen, they kind of slowed down our rush, so to speak, and. Um, so then we were rushing off the edge and that was really it because we were worried about draw, worried about screen, good scheme by those guys. And then, you know, even the ball is thrown in front of us. We've got to come up and make tackles and we just, we, we've got to tackle better uh, on defense. And um, I don't know if we got tired or not, but second half, but we, we have to tackle better. All right. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. You bet. John. Yeah, Chris, I know you just mentioned the, the tackling right there, but just I, I guess in general, what, what was it that happened to the defense in the second half that was so much different than the first? I, I think that's it. We didn't tackle well. Uh, they threw a couple screen passes, and we don't keep leverage on the play. And uh, then they break it for a big game, you know, and then we bring in a pressure, and the end stays outside, and he doesn't. And, and so he comes underneath, and they scramble for a big play. You know, it just – little things of doing our job that we've talked about constantly. Um, and uh, you don't do that against a, a seasoned veteran kid like Brewer. He's going to make you pay. And he did. did you get a good look at the penalties on Sebastian and then Khalid there late in the game? I did not see the one on Seabass. I thought potentially he got pulled into him with Khalid, but that isn't the determined, determining factor of the game. I mean, Shoot, he probably would have made another play. Um, who knows? Because uh, Brewer was Brewer was really playing well. So I, I was naked eye of all I saw with um, Khalid. Does it feel like a game where in the first half you had him on the ropes and, and should have had them down by more going into halftime? Oh, other than the fact that we turned the ball over a couple times and that gave him some life. We weren't really doing a whole lot offensively. Uh, we had the long run with, um, with Malik, but uh, – we didn't get really going in the uh, second half or offensively till the till the second half. So it's probably about the way it should have played out in the first half. Appreciate it, Chris. Ryan. 
Hey, uh, Chris, just how much can you say about the play of, of Daniel and, and Cody? I mean, they were top two tacklers and combined for 21 today. Um, uh, th those two kids used to battle and play well, and they probably those two guys probably did get tired. Um, but it, it's it's hard when you know they're the only ones with experience that we have at linebacker because the other guys are out, and so uh, they got to play every snap, and that's probably too many snaps for those guys to play. Uh, but uh, I appreciate their their effort nonstop because um, we're we're struggling with with backups right now. We're just so down so many guys that um, guys have to play more snaps than they're probably than we probably want them to and kind of on that note what, what, how did you feel about your your two first time starting guards today uh, I thought they did a nice job and that that kind of sums up 2020 in our season in a nutshell when on Friday an hour before we get on the plane both of our starting guards are out can't come on the plane give coach Riley a bunch of credit Thank, thank heavens we played at six o'clock at night because Riles is having meetings and walkthroughs and stuff and getting Taylor Poitier ready and Cooper Beebe hasn't played a snap of guard all season and then all of a sudden he's playing guard the whole game. But th those things are those things are hard. Um, it's the hand we were dealt and I thought our guys responded well. I thought all of us responded well to that adversity um, and it, it stinks for those those two guys to not be able to make the trip, but that, that's unfortunately um, 2020 right now with, uh, with with the pandemic. And then, Chris, my, my final thing is, uh, I guess, what when the decision with with going with Will? Did he just play better in practice this week? Yeah, we, we thought he gave us the best chance to be successful. Thank you. Got two hands raised. We'll do those starting with Michael. Yeah, Chris, did the uh, turnovers kind of contribute to the conservative play calling in the second and third quarters? I couldn't tell you. You'd have to ask Mess when you see him on Thursday. I don't know. And without seeing film, how would you uh, assess Cooper Beebe's play? I thought our offensive line did a nice job. We rushed for, I don't know what we rushed for, a whole bunch. So I, I thought our offensive line did a nice job rushing for, for that much. Thank you. Last one here, Skyler. Were you okay with the reversal on that fumble with Charlie there at the beginning of that last drive? Yeah, I thought it was probably the right call. Yeah. 